sure, for bettering sure. themselves. But let's go to the match. Yeah, we're actually getting to see Dyer's uh, Mario versus. I love when he does this. Versus Toromatsu's Ryu. Anyways, uh, Toromatsu getting the first hit. We've had a little bit of a grab because uh, applying a lot of safe pressure. Dyer is. And Dyer is just one of those players that he plays Diddy Kong. So. His neutral is really, really good. His neutral in general is good. Uh, usually when he plays like this, he has a bunch of other like top tier characters he would like to pocket and just keep on going against them. Not for like sandbagging, but more like, here's what you should learn. Also, like you gotta realize, nice up become one that's able to kill off the top! Unbelievable. What a crazy Dyer's job, like, dude. what just happened? <laughs> Torumetsu taking off his bag, he's like, all right. This may be not Dyer's Diddy Kong, but it's still just as threatening. Yeah, and you also got to remember that if uh, that Mario's looking to uppy off the top, they're going to look for that back hit of the uppy, the, the oh. initial not back. So Ooh, you do have to be careful for that. Getting out of that uh, down air with a down air versus Owen, and now a lot of safe pressure. Ooh, yeah. looking for the dunks. Yeah, lucky tournaments are going in, but he does have a strange habit of short hopping da into down B, thinking someone's going to hit you with like a one hit move, but Dyer recognizing it, it's not going to fall for it, and he's just keeping this pressure oh, off of sure. Metsu. And you also have to realize that the pressure he's applying is mix ups. He's mixing it up, what he's going to do to approach, and also just kind of like how he kind of weaves in and out. And I really like that. He's also keeping center stage. You also got to realize how good that is, but wow, true Shuriken coming out from Tormetsu able to steal off that stock. Yeah, Tormetsu not giving up, coming back. Anyways, we're going to see Dyer get in there with a little bit of that invincibility coming out with that Nair, coming out with another Nair. He's going to actually break through that punch to get the grab. Oh. Now, finishing off that up smash. Yeah, recognizing Tormetsu loves coming down with a neutral air, just punishes him with an up smash. Oh boy. I see Torumetsu got for this because Torumetsu might be a little bit. Doesn't seem like he's down, but just like in that state of what should I do? What have I done wrong? And what should I do to prevent this from happening again? Because as always, when you go down, you don't. You want to see what you've done wrong and don't do it again. He's jumping into game two. Uh, same stage, right? Yeah. Safe oh, choice. Oh, quick 37% coming out from Torometsu already. Yeah. He's slowing down his pace a little, a little bit. Okay, good job. I like that. Going for the earlier one, uh, it was also smart for Dyer to shield it, but Dyer last time was just able to kind of break through with double up tilt. Oh, yep, reading it once again. Oh my gosh, Dyer's on a train right now. Just so much pressure as well. Definitely. Right now what Tormus who needs to work on right now is changing a little bit of his landing options to fight against Dyer's mix-ups. Yeah. Oh, another thing is Dyer is very season season player. And you can tell the seasoning <laughs> when you see that he understands how a player is gonna approach because of the character they're playing. You know? If, if you know how a character is going to play, you know that they're limited to certain approaches. Wow. That must hurt. Recognizing no tag and finishing up with one of his most powerful moves. Yeah, for sure. Torment's just kind of leaning back, trying to think about what he can do to switch up the game right now. What kind of started him off with that early percent? Getting a lot of early percent again. Let's see if he's actually able to confirm. Nice dash tag coming out. Ooh, nice. There we go. Again. I like the mix up. Yep. Tormentsu Rick recognizing one of his strengths, which is his up tilt combos. Yeah. Finishing off Dyer's first stop, but let's see right now because Dyer's reading him like a book. Yeah, and he's getting on a train with his combos as well. But nice, a oh, little bit of a combo coming out from here. Actually breaking through the nair coming out from Tormentsu. Interesting with stuff, but Dyer's now able to create a lot of oh, pressure. Ooh, there we go. Good reaction. <laughs> I'm surprised it actually set him that high at such a low percent. Yeah, don't forget. Ryu's pretty strong. Yeah, Tormentsu could definitely turn this around with the Church Oh, oh there we Red go. is up DI. Yeah. Hey, yeah, good stuff coming out from Dyer. Able to seal off that stock. With I'm amazed down, uh, with Dyer was able to do that because Tormentsu at all did not DI up. He was always DIing away when he was, when Dyer was trying to set up.